centuries, rural Brits have been relying on ferrets to catch unwanted rabbits that dig holes in landowners' fields. The Romans fetched rabbits over here with them for food centuries ago when they tried to occupy Britain. Um, and the rabbits have stayed here ever since. The ferret is an animal well adapted to catching burrowing pests. They'll work, you know, constantly, all day for long hours. You know, if you imagine a ferret, it's only a small animal. Its legs are only sort of an inch long. And they run, you know, thousands of metres a day through warrens, the labyrinth of warrens. He's a hunting animal. He's, you know, he wants to go down there and he wants to hunt and kill. That's all's in his psyche. Ken Jenkins has been ferreting all his life, breeding a strain of ferrets that he inherited. They, they started from my, from my father. My father and my uncles and my grandfathers have all hunted. So that strain of ferrets was in the family. Now he's a professional pest controller. With a partner, a dog, and a team of ferrets, he spends his days catching rabbits, much as it's been done for centuries. Rabbits have burrowed into this embankment on the edge of Old Sarum Castle, an Iron Age site in South England, near Stonehenge. What you have to do is, you need to find, first of all, where the rabbits are living. Um, rabbits are burrowing animals and live underground. Um, and a ferret, by dint of its nature, hunts rabbits underground. Mr. Jenkins says ferreting is the most effective way to catch rabbits. It's safer than guns or poison, and because the rabbits' necks are quickly broken, he says it's more humane than using traps. The ferrets are then put on tracking receivers on their necks, on their collars, so we can find them at all times. They're entered into the warren, and then they flush out the rabbits into the waiting nets, where they're humanely dispatched. <laughs>